My name is Stephanie Erickson, and I'm a social worker and family caregiving expert. In this series, we're sharing stories about caregivers across Canada. Stephanie drives down a street. Caregiving has its challenges, but the love for a family member can be the motivator to push through hard times. Vicki is different. For the last two years, Vicki has stepped in to provide a home and a surrogate family for a young man on the autism spectrum. She has taken classes to understand his needs, advocate to guarantee that he has access to every resource available, and joined a support network to learn from others. Vicky stands on her porch, sipping from a mug. She smiles to the camera. Text, caring for those who care. My name is Vicky. Vicky looks to the camera. I am a mom, a grandma, and I am also a home share provider. I come from a large family. I have 10 brothers and sisters, you know, caring for others. I just became like part of life. Vicky pours into a thermos. To be a home care provider is to provide a stable environment for an individual that needs assistance, giving them a safe place to be and help them along as they progress. Matthew sits across from Vicky in the living room. When I met Matthew, um, it was uh, we had a brief meeting to meet each other and see if we'd be a fit, and he agreed and I agreed. And it was quite exciting because it was something new and, and really wanted to make a good impression and make him feel comfortable. It took um, uh, quite a bit of time for him to feel comfortable enough to talk to me. But once he started talking, he didn't stop. <laughs> Matthew smiles broadly. Matthew has a diagnosis of autism spectrum disorder, which impacts one in 66 Canadian children. The severity of traits can range from communication problems, socialization problems, sensory and behavioral challenges. Without intervention, these symptoms can be persistent and extremely difficult to change. Living or working with someone on the autism spectrum requires a tremendous amount of patience and understanding. Vicki, Matthew, and Stephanie share a laugh. There is difficulty in managing the relationship because you're there to guide somebody and instruct them but then you also have kind of like what's a roommate and some of the boundaries can get mixed up. Vicky walks with Matthew. For me being consistent and not letting up has been the most successful. You know if you live with me you have to do something. I said I didn't sign up to have somebody come and lay in bed so if you're going to be here, you got to do stuff. Matthew nods to Vicky. One, one great thing that happened was they were doing a camping trip. He took his bag of stuff. He didn't know anybody. And he got on that bus and he sat down and he went away for the weekend. And I tell you, the smile was so huge you couldn't take it away. It was one of the best times he told me he had. I know that Matthew's had a lot of first living with me, and that's what feels really good. And there should be a lot more of them. Matthew grins toward the camera. Advocating for someone on the spectrum is one of the most crucial roles a caregiver plays. The advocate really becomes the expert to ensure that the person gets all of the resources for which they're entitled. Being a caregiver, you do need to advocate uh, for your client all the time. Talk to somebody, talk to anybody. I, I've just found that I started from ground zero and had to find out what's out there. Where is it out there? You know, who can give me the right information? And before you know it, you have this great big team that advocates for this individual. And it's, it's amazing. My concern and goal was always to care about the person that is living with me. But when you do have other agencies and governing bodies involved and family, everybody's expectations are not always aligned. It takes a certain type of individual who has stamina, patience, and genuine concern for another individual. And I think caregivers should be heard a lot more when it comes to their client. 
Stephanie writes a note in her car. I bought Vicky a gift to thank her for sharing her story. I chose a laptop because she has so much organization and research to do, and she'd been previously doing it all on her phone. Carrying the purple wrapped gift box, Stephanie knocks on Vicky's door. Vicky answers, and the two embrace with excitement. A laptop is going to make a huge difference in organization and upkeep of records. There's always that aspect um, in this type of work. Various agencies and people involved in the care of an individual all require communication back and forth. And trying to do something from a smartphone <laughs> is not an ideal way to do it. And another thing I want to do with that is for all the resources and all of the things that I have discovered to date while being a caregiver, I want to compile that and have that available so that, you know, the next caregiver or somebody else, I can easily hand them that information so they don't have to struggle along as much as I had initially. It is going to make a huge difference. Stephanie and Vicky embrace once more. Text, caring for those who care. Text, produced with the participation of Teolis Fund. Logo, North of Now.